can top the WSR. How can you top this season? On the road to the Grid World Series, we can expect more action, more drama, and it's all happening right here in the WSR. Welcome everybody, this is Grid. Yes, a huge thank you to Codemasters. They have provided me with a preview code of the full game. It's not fully day one finish, but it's pretty damn close. And we're going to be going through what it's like as soon as you turn the game on. This is the first event you'll get straight into, and then we'll be looking at the Grid World Series events. Doing a couple of those as well in this. But we're going to get through the intro, and then see what comes next. Straight into the action. Driving the Corvette, and literally smashing our way through, rubbing his racing in grid. That's the one thing I love about this. Yes, it's a simulation, but it's also so much fun. With It feels like an arcade racer as well. You've got the drifting. You've got the rubbing of the different vehicles. You've got full damage as well on these vehicles. It just plays brilliantly, and I absolutely love it. So, as I say, this is a preview build of the game. And we're going to try and do our best to be as quick as we can on the final lap, push to the front. and win as many races as we can. That could hurt, though. We've got one vehicle to get past in this. So this, I believe, is what they class as a race in the WSR. But what we're working towards is the Grid World Series, which is where the main campaign career mode gameplay actually takes place. We've just done a nice inside move on that guy. Uh, Camera-wise, as I say, we've got all the different cameras available in each of the different vehicles. I'm going to stick to the outside camera in this race. There's two of those available. That's this one that's a closer run, and the outer one there. But we will check out some of the other camera views on some of the other vehicles that we're going to be using. It looks like we're going to come through for the win in part one of the WSR. What is going to be next? It's over to Indianapolis. And Kristen, it's got to be the one to watch. Yeah, you won't want to miss it, Alex. The Green World Series is so close you can touch it. I reckon there's going to be a brawl out there to make it through. We are heading to some NASCAR racing. This is where I bring out my Days of Thunder Tom Cruise as performance. Hopefully, the checkered flag on this oval. They have lost control. The other team now looking to capitalize. Tired to tire. Someone's not coming out of this. Oh, my. okay, so I don't have control. So I look like I'm going to get through this unscathed somehow. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to get through the crash unscathed. That was an insane crash. We're in fifth place. That could have been bad. So come on, capitalize on it. So you can see you can look obviously on all directions on each of the different cameras. Now, with oval racing, the key is trying to maintain as much of your speed as possible. Get the slipstream. Don't hit the wall, and then when you get the opportunity to, pass as quickly as you can. And he's get this top speed up. We're up to 210 miles an hour and we are still not catching these guys, so we've got to try and maintain as much of that speed through this corner. We've only got another lap and a bit to go. And we are not gaining as much as I thought I would. So the AI difficulty, I believe, is set to hard. So they are going to be a bit of a challenge. I noticed this when I was playing the game in a, an earlier build version. I had it on medium sometimes and they were just really, really easy. And you would just end up racing on your own at the front of the pack, and it just wasn't any fun. So this, I put it on hard, because I want to make sure I get that challenge, and I have that opportunity to have a race. But it doesn't look like I've got even the speed to catch these guys. And I'm actually getting caught from behind as well, because they've got my slipstream. Which is fine. Maybe one last attempt. If I need them to like have an accident or something. I know that sounds horrible. But I need them to crash. Uh, no, here we go. Final straight. We're going to end up fifth place on this one. But that's good. This is the challenge I want set. Here 
and it's being settled at Brands Hatch, Kristen. The clouds may be grey, but the action will be as colourful as ever, especially given the added complexity of the waterlogged road surface. If you can win in these conditions and under this pressure, well, you are prime Grid World Series material. So without further ado, this final is about to begin. So hold on to your umbrellas, it's race day. So the final event. Looks like we're heading to Brands Hatch. Oh, they're throwing some elbows out there. Taking no prisoners. We had a driver heading off the tarmac. You're gonna lose some time there. I'll tell me that's not me. Okay, so we've hit the barrier. My bonnet is broken. My windscreen is broken. My chance of winning is not broken yet. We are down in 10th. But we've got to get back through this pack. Oh, without my bonnet though. That's fine. Didn't need that bonnet anyway. I'm guessing that means I've got no bonnet on that cab. I love it. Literally could just see engine parts. Alright, we've got to make some bold moves this time. Hopefully cars in front might have some comings together as well and we might be able to get in a couple of places that way. But way wide there though. Still a night getting pressured from 10th behind me. Raphael Lima is behind me. Oliver Edwards in front. I'm going for the inside move here. Gotta push through. Gotta start making some places up. Teammate is ahead of me. He's in third I think that is. Is that it? the position he's saying he's in? Or is that his number? No, he's in third. Okay. So he's in a reasonably good position. I wonder if I can make him... So in the previous build, you can make them attack or defend. And I'm wondering if you can make them slow the pack up. Right, we've got to get past at least two of these in the next couple of corners. Because the guy out front is starting to get a bit of a lead on. Rubbing my way around that corner, that's fine by me. Checking out the other camera angles on the golf. The no bonnet, the spoiler. These two teammates are going at it as well. Alright, I'm going to make him attack. Because I'm right behind him now, and if he can make the car in front make a mistake, that means I may be able to get past as well. I think your teammate sometimes takes a few more risks on the attack. I'm happy if he wants to take risks. Go on, Nixon. I'll give you a little nudge as well, mate. We need to get past Ingun. And up to Davy. Right, Nick's got to get out of the way. If you ain't attacking, Nick, I certainly am. He's in the slip straight on going. Go for it. Gone for it down the inside. Got a slide on. Managed to hold it. Okay, one, more. That's my, I think that's my, yeah, that's my bumper. Literally left strewed across the racetrack. Oh, I've got wide. That could be my last opportunity to catch this guy gone. So Grid is going to be releasing on PC. Uh, it's also going to be available on consoles, uh, Xbox One, PS4. And it's going to be on Stadia as well, which I'm really excited for to see as well. Uh, I've got my hands on Stadia now and really enjoyed what I played, so I'm very intrigued to see how this plays on that as well. Second place in the third of our WSR races. I think it's now time we're going to head to the Grid World Series. Excellent season. You're going to dominate the Grid World Series. You've got the sponsorship lined up. So, it's all down to talent now. Kristen, now you're the expert, but from where I was sitting, that was a final to remember. From a mid-race spin-out to an electrifying finish, this race and the WSR series has given us plenty to look back on. But what's next? 
Well, next for those skilled enough to have got this far, Alex, and made it to the top of the standings, is the Grid World Series. If the WSR is the proving ground, then the Grid World Series is the battleground, where the best racers on the planet compete in multiple race disciplines to find out who is the ultimate racer. Well, I can't add anything more to that, Kristen. So as the dust settles on the WSR today, in the distance, the Grid World Series starts its engines, gearing up for the most thrilling racing action around. And we'll be right there with you. So we're going from the proving grounds to the battlegrounds. We are going to jump into career. First off, I'm going to quickly create a player profile. So we're going to have this as Tommy, and then we'll make that T999. Race number, I don't think I can have 999, so it's just going to have to be 99. Banner image, panel image, and ah, we'll leave those all alone. We now, though, apply that. We can now see in the top right-hand corner, we've got 100,000 credits, and we've got the right name. Uh, so let's get into career. So here we go. This is the Grid World Series. The final events are all here. And yes, Raven West are back. So that's the complete the four showdown events. Options when you first come into the game. You've got Touring. Uh, the Touring Car Championship, the TC2 UK Open. Bay Area Storm in Stock. The JDM Rush in Tuna. GT Group 2 Super Sprint in the GT category. Here is that Fernando Alonso series, uh, which I'm really intrigued about. Um, it's great to have him on board within this game, so I'm loving to see that. I have actually played the F1000 series. Those single seaters are so much fun. And then we've got the classic mini trophy in San Francisco as an invitational. So loads of events here, but I think it's only right we go for the first one, which is the TC2 UK Open. It's two rounds, or two races, Silverstone and Brands Hatch. We've got to finish third or above, and we can choose our car. So we've got a Ford Focus, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, which we've just driven, the Subaru WRX, or the Audi RS3. Uh, I'm going to go with this because it's the cheapest, and I want to try and see how many cars I can get because I've only got 100,000. So we're going to purchase that car, select that car, and get involved in the TC2 UK Open. We're at Silverstone. It's overcast. Three laps but it's the International Circuit Reversed. Okay, should be good fun. Going through the grid, there is my teammate in sixth place. Welcome everybody to today's event. Kristen, what are we in for today? This is a tight, bruising, and I'm guessing kind of they race. throw me if right at the back. Oh, no, okay. nearly at the back. It looks like the race is about to start. I will sit with the outside view for the start. 14th place. We've got some work to do. Hopefully get a few into this first corner. Maybe into the second. Oh, it's going to get crazy in here. I've literally cut that way too much. But I've got away with it. Pushing through into ninth place. Nick is two ahead. I may get him to... I'm going to get him to go on the offensive straight away. All right, requesting to push... I want him to start causing some trouble up there. Right, uh, they can't attack we can't the attack? What do you mean he can't attack? Why not? Right, let's see if I can get round. Oh, I may have gone in too deep on that one. Oh, I've got away with it just. I was trying to go around the outside, which is probably a stupid move. But I also thought with that heavy braking, like here, yeah, it's not the outside route doesn't look like the best option at the moment. Come on, Nicky boy. Gonna move on, son. We've got some places to make up, and I've got a Kachasari right behind me, wanting eighth place from me. Right, I'm gonna risk it. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> of all the people I should have hit, it wasn't him. Sorry, Nick. Okay, <laughs> barging our way through. Okay, I'll try to get them to I'm gonna hopefully get Nick to attack from where he is now. We've managed to make up some more places. This is the great thing about touring car, and also about grid. You know, the little rub, the tap, the nudge, that is what it's all about. This guy's boot is open. I mean, what's he been doing? Gonna go down the inside, late breaking. 
send it. Oh, his boot just flew off. It's literally his boot just flew off. It's just going to have landed on someone else's car. Full damage on these vehicles as well. Mine doesn't look too bad. I'm guessing if I look... No, I've I'm, I'm got a few scrapes. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. After two laps of racing. Alright, let's, let's get our foot down. Maybe not that much. Oh, he's literally come straight back at me because of that mistake. I need to get in his boot. <laughs> right, here we go. Lead is ours. We need to make it stick now. We need a solid, clean lap. Use as much of the curves as we need to. Yeah, we've pulled out a couple of seconds there. Or at least one second. Just give me a clean track. Let's try and do some racing from bonnet cam as well. Give you different opinions and different kind of like what it looks like from each of the different cameras. I love the bonnet cam, but a lot of people when I've used this in previous videos have said, oh, I don't like the bonnet cam. So I'm going to try and mix it up in these videos to give you as much option and choice as to what it will look like from each of the cameras as we go through these events. I'm not going to speak, I'm not going to do the commentator's curse, but I think we've got this 1-1. Tell my boy to start attacking again. I'll ask them to push. Final corner. Okay, they're starting to Let's see if Nick can get up a couple of extra places as we go across the line. We take the victory in our first race in the Grid World Series. Teammate earnings could have probably been a little bit better because I got it back into seventh. Uh, fastest lap for us as well. Happy days all around. Finish third or higher, completed that. Finish in the top half, completed that. Maintain start position, win the race, most overtakes, completion bonus, and longest drift. Plenty of credits for us there. We're nearly back up to 100,000 as well, after just one race. Okay, second, we're heading to Brands Hatch again. It's the Indy Circuit. It's overcast, three lap race. And again, I'm guessing I'm gonna be pretty far back down this grid. And we're heading into the final round now, where it'll all be decided. Kristen, tell me what's going to happen. I'm yeah, Alex. Okay, at the back sorry. of the grid. We are about to 16 to 16. Okay, Sergio Alvarez. I was too focused on him looking like he was... Like, is he my main competition? Or is he my nemesis? Oh no, nemesis is the red logo which will come up. So, I'm guessing he's my closest rival. Hey, calm down. Whoa, he's literally trying to take me out. That's the, again, the AI in this are so good. There's such a mix of AI. Aggressive, safe drivers, people that will take risks. I've seen some huge accidents in previous gameplays of this, and I'm sure we will get some as we go through this as well. The last thing I want to do this race is take out my boy Nick. So I'm going to try and get past him this time without knocking him out of his position and then we can get some great team points as well. This is the final race of this series, so we want to make sure maximize them all as we can. Oh, that's a nice move down the inside. Got a bit of a drift on, but I've held it. Oh, Inga! You, my man, are all over it. Don't you dare, don't you dare, uh, Inga, you absolute oh. Managed to hold it, but I've not helped myself position-wise. We've still got one and a half laps to go, so plenty of time. Sergio still is showing. It's down in 16th. So I'm hoping that's a good thing in terms of the series itself. Maybe it's reverse grid from the first race. Or the standings. Well, someone's just gone off, or someone's bonnet or bumper is there. All right, last lap, we do need to make up some ground. We're up to ninth, which is nowhere near good enough. Let's try and get Nick on the push as well. Do you mean he can't push? Pull your finger out, Nick. Come on, son. All right, we're up to seventh. I'm hoping we're going to get enough points out of this race to take home the championship still. That's sixth. 
I reckon we can get at least fourth here with a bit of rubbing. I'm not going to get first. There's a chance I might get... No, it looks like fourth is going to be what we're going to end up with in this race. But you know what? I will take that. Oh my... He's actually coming back at me though. There we go. We managed to take down fourth. I'm hoping that's enough to get the victory. The event itself. There we go. 37 points in total. I'm happy with that. We've leveled up. We are now at level 2. So we're on our way. Finish ahead of our rival. And we finished third or above in the TC2 UK Open. So it looks like I unlocked a player card design there and maybe a badge for the logo as well. So banners and logos look like what you're going to unlock as you go through. So after completing that, we've now unlocked the TC2 in Asia and also the Barcelona Super Sprint. But for this first video, we need to do something a little bit different, something I haven't actually played before. I've done that. I'm going to do this. We're going to head to San Francisco in the classic mini trophy. Four laps, one event. No second chances in this one. I'm looking forward to driving this mini though. Okay, where is it positioned to be on this group? Probably right at the back. Well, 14th of 16. Alright, let's see what these minis have got. What they look like on the inside. They look pretty cool, actually. But for this race, I need to be on it. And I want to make sure I try and make as few mistakes as possible. Don't need a nemesis. I need to make some clean moves. I need my boy Nick to start getting aggressive as well. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. Snuck in between those two teammates. Okay, made some good progress lap one. Can I get down the inside of this guy as well? I'll take that move any day. See, I would highly recommend when you do play this game, find the AI level and difficulty that suits you. You want to be challenged, you don't want to just be out in front, because you'll never ever get better if you do that. So, I find, you can always obviously adjust things like ABS, and do you have automatic gears or manual gears, and loads of different options as well, but the AI difficulty for me I think is the key one that you want to kind of like try and find that right balance for. You want to be challenged, you want to have a good race, you don't want to be winning every single race. Obviously you want to try your best to, but you also want to know that if you want to get better at the game, you need to be challenged by that AI, especially if you head on to multiplayer. That's when you're going to find out how good you are against other real life drivers. The AI is going to give you some tests, but you just know it's going to get crazy online. As I've literally got the... Oh, I'm trying to get hit. Otto's got the inside here. So oh, look at him, he's pushing me out wide as well. Managed to get a bit of a drift, and I've managed to take first place. There we go. I am happy with that. Whether I can hold on to it is another matter, especially if I drive into barriers like that. My clean racing has gone out the window as soon as I put myself in first position. Okay, so I don't have a rival. Alright, Nick needs to pull his finger out then if he's down the back of the pack. We are coming round the final corner to head into our final lap in this mini invitational here in San Francisco. And I am happy to say I'm going to do my best, Engineer, to keep my lead intact. Benjamin has got past Otto behind me, so Benjamin is on the push. It looks like they're having a bit of a battle between us. That might be good for me, because the more they battle together, the slower they're going to be going. That hopefully gives me the opportunity, as you can see, to pull out a bit of a gap against them. I'm going 
going to say it. I think the Mini Invitational is mine. First and second lap made the difference there. Get out of the pack. Get up the front. And then make the times and the lap times count. 47.476. That is another victory in the Grid World Series. Classic Mini Trophy, San Francisco finished on top half. We did that. Fastest lap got that. And team win bonus. 25,000 gold credits added to our account. We've got 144,000 now. That's going to be good for purchasing a new car for sure. Not sure exactly how... I didn't even check how my teammate did in that one. But I know he wasn't up there. Benjamin did hold on to second with Otto in third. So that's two events done but look how many more there are to go if you'd like to see certain ones done whether that's in stock tuna gt the fernando alonso series other invitationals let me know i will do my best to share as much as i can as we head our way through to the grid world series against the best of the best of raven west if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up everyone is hugely appreciated if you didn't give it a dislike let me know down in the comments why you didn't like it but also what you'd like to see of myself of this game and also the channel. If you want to share it, just click the share button and then spread the word about Grid to all of your friends across all of your social medias. But until the next time, believe in your dreams, become your very own legend, and I'll speak to you again in the next one.